What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Market Money Moves, and I'm here trying to make you some money. So today's lesson is going to be on support resistance lines and how you can draw them up. All right, let me clear this. All right, so let's just take a look at Apple. Um, I like drawing my support and resistance either on the daily or the weekly. Uh, it just depends on your preference. I like to do it on the weekly, looking at a longer time frame. So we can see that there's a resistance right here where the seller stepped in from this previous run. There's some resistance up top over here. You can lower it down. I like having more touches for my resistance and support. One, two, three, just about. All right. Nice little support right here. So what support and resistance is basically support is where the buyers step in. See right there, the buyers kept buying this up, which held up Apple to make another move. Sellers stepped in right here after this initial move. There's a resistance line right there. You can even see right here, still resistant. Uh, the best way <clears throat> to identify and make money off these support and resistance lines is the way I use them, which is going to the longer time frame. And um, you find those support and resistance lines that are constantly valid. And right here, for instance, you could have entered in some calls or bought some shares and look to sell around the resistance line. It broke through. And it almost touched this resistance line. It came back down. Let's look at something else. Let's go with Microsoft. Delete that. Still on the weekly. Resistance line right here. Another one up top. All time highs. Another one right here. So for Microsoft, seller stepped in, then buyers stepped back in here. Another one right here. A little nice chop zone. Came back to that resistance, broke it. Came up here, made another resistance, came down. So once a resistance is broken, it can now act as a support. So as you see right here, came down, used that resistance as support, and then made another leg higher after breaking that resistance. Support and resistance can be really helpful when trying to draw up your technical analysis and figuring out what the next move of the stock will be. All right, guys, that is all for our lesson today on support and resistance. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them below. This is Market Money Moves, signing out.